Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to another episode of Gigabit Off-Road. Now in the last episode of Gigabit Off-Road, did a, a bit of a mild build on the new Chevy truck. And in this episode, we're going to revisit that truck and we're going to make a couple of adjustments. Now, first adjustments we're going to make is we are going to max it out. Like we're just going to go crazy with it. We're going to make it... Uh, we're going to make it have more performance than you would ever even imagine out of, um, like, out of this particular truck. We're maxing everything all the way out. So, like I said, like I said, this thing is going to be a monster. Um, an absolute insane monster once we're done with it. And I'm going to go back to, let's see, like I said, when I, when I decided to do a full build, hmm, we'll leave the tires on number eight, let's see, nine... 10, 9, 10, good god, okay, <laughs> jeez, those wheels are way too small, <laughs> 7, 8, 9, 10, that was a little big, uh, let's do like 7s for wheels, and now, first of all, I want to see if it can actually flex anymore, it actually, yes it can, and I am quite happy about that, um, just because of the fact that I know that, I know that it's not going to be the most flexible truck at this point, but we still, I still want to see if it can actually do at least some of it, so let's put some, uh, put some kind of different modifications on it now, we, actually, light bars would be cool, hmm, yeah, those, the dual light bars up top, and now, for bumpers, I don't know what they've got for bumpers for this truck, but whatever they have, I'm sure it's going to be in... Well, they've got stingers. Those look good. That's a hell of a bumper with, like... We've got light bars and then a stinger on that. That looks good. That looks cool. That looks cool. And then from the mirrors, I'm going to leave those alone. Like, rock sliders or extra pieces of the cage we can do. And now on to... Well... Fenders, we don't, we're not really going to do those in the front because we already got a cage there. Now, the bed itself, we could put a cover on... Oh, what? What? What is this? What? Gigabit, what is, what is this? Go home. You're drunk. Well, now that's cool. That is cool, too. God, these are all so cool. I don't even... Whoa. Wh or, like, a dually bed. That looks, that looks insane. That looks awesome, and I cannot wait. Oh my god, look at, look at this. I want to see if there's any other wheels we could choose, like any other wheel styles that would look good. Those look awesome. Those look awesome. Okay, now it's time to take this thing out and see what happens with it, because... <laughs> oh, jeez. This thing is a monster now. God, I... Like, it's got so much power. So much power. Um, I don't know what we're gonna do with all this power, frankly. Just because it's like... Just because it's this crazy, and it's maxed out now. Like, it's... We can't make this thing any faster. It's maxed out. It's got the maximum tire size. It's got the maximum tire width, maximum tire height. It's like... It's literally the most we can do with this truck. 90 more miles an hour. See? Whoa! <laughs> Well, that was, oh, hey, it lands, it lands, and it recovers itself, so that's about all it needs to do, that's like, that's about all it needs to do, and I'm totally okay with that, I mean, <laughs> let's put it in low range, do a bit of crawling, crawl it right up over the obstacles, god, it doesn't even flinch, thing doesn't even, oh, it starts to roll backwards, though, I should have put it in reverse and slammed the throttle to the floor, but, regardless, it's still a hell of a machine. Like, you can barely, well, you can barely keep it upright, that's for sure. Just because if you roll it over, the tires are so wide that you can't catch it. Like, you can't get it back. Or barely. You can barely get it back. Oh, come on. I wonder, though, if we can make any use of it as, like, a crawler. Well, it was, okay, it was good getting around that one corner, and then it was like, eh, and I'm gonna fall over now. It's just like, it just fell over. Now, is this a course? Oh, God. 44 seconds is the target. 
I don't know if we can manage that, but we'll find out. Put it in high. It says go straight, so we'll do that. We'll go Whoa. Oh, don't fall over. Don't fall over. I need to tweak the suspension a little bit. Where's the next? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Uh, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't. Oh. I was like, don't die, please. Go, 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 go. God. Go. That's three out of seven. Four out of seven. Where's. Whoa. Whoa. Where's the. Oh, God, it's back there. I was like, where the hell did they put it? Jeez. That was five. We're getting there. Six. Oh. I don't know how you're supposed to do that one without ending up, like, upside down. That's, like, that's weird. It's just, like, the way they, the way they orient these checkpoints is super all over the place and doesn't really, doesn't really make much sense. But that's the ending. I mean, we got you know, a little bit from it, but nothing, you know, nothing to write home about or speak. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Ow. So let's find a death trail because I think this thing would be insane on a good death trail. It's got the flex for it. It doesn't really, it doesn't really have the, uh, it, it's not really made to race, but it is, ooh, it is made to, um, it is made to flex out. Now, I wonder if we can do this loop first, though. The loop, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty, uh, pretty impressed if it makes the loop the first try. Alright, come on, come on, come on. I'm flooring on the throttle. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Okay. Dude, that was awesome. And, oh, we almost did a, we almost did a barrel roll and then wound up on our top. But, Regardless of how, you know, regardless of who killed whose truck, it's uh, not really any of my concern. So, let's take a little bit of a trip up the up that death trail now. It's one of the more mild death trails, I want to say, but at the same time, it's certainly not tame. Modulating the throttle a little bit, making sure everything just goes simply... Not trying to roll the truck over backwards, because if I roll the truck over backwards, then we have to start over, and that's no fun at all. This is going to be a spot where I really have to be touchy on the throttle. Just let the grip do its work, and it's going to roll back. It's going to roll back. Okay, yeah, it's going to roll back over. I'm going to respawn it right here, and see if we can climb this without incident. Still really wants to roll back over. Yeah, oh, yeah, if you hit it, I was like, maybe if we hit it with speed. But, wow, that was perfect, and now it's going for another backflip, and it's on its back. Or on its roof, technically. Now, the only thing with that is the fact that it's like... I don't know, it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to go up the... It, it doesn't want to go up straight ahead... So you have to end up modulating the throttle a lot. Never mind. Okay, now land, land. Nope. I was like land properly, and it was like nah, bruh. Okay, we're breaking out the winch if we if we can get it to go active. It still flipped over backwards with the winch. Jeez, that's crazy. Okay, so. Note to self, even with the winch, this truck is a little bit sketchy when it comes to steep hills. Probably because it's lifted so high, number one, and also partly because of the fact that these tires are so grippy that if you if you get any more grip at the back than you have at the front, you're immediately going to flip over. Like, there's nothing to stop you from immediately flipping over. That looks like an intense trail. That looks fun as hell. I need to go over there and try that. You know what? I'm going right over. This trail's boring. Perfect. Yes, perfect. Oh, God. I wonder if we can actually get up that hill, though. That's that's the sketchy part, is getting up the hill. And brakes. Now the brakes work decently well. They're not incredible. They're nothing to write home about, but they're okay-ish. They're okay 
ish. Just, whoa, 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 what happened? The truck just cut out. Come on, come on. He's gonna try and keep it in first. Gonna be a little touchy and careful with the throttle. There we go. Climbed right up. Oh, this'll be, this'll be fun. Getting over each one of these individual bumps. It's, it's, it's easy because our tires are so huge. Come on. She's not doing too bad. In fact, I'm going to switch up the camera angle a little bit because I want to see how this truck does from a couple of other angles. Oh my god. That, now I just realized how big the freaking tires actually are. Holy hell. Oh my god, guys. That is, that is ridiculous. That is insane. Absolutely freaking insane. This view's cool. Gonna have to use a little bit of the flex here now. Starting to get up into some slightly more tricky, slightly more tricky areas. Oh god. Starting to, oh, hey, 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 not bad. Not bad. Crawling it just fine. I approve. Oh, yeah. I 100% approve of that. That's gone well. It's gone very well, indeed. Brakes, please. Brakes, please. The brakes don't work very well. Now, do you have the grip to go? No, you don't. <laughs> All right, holding the e-brake as I change camera angles. Now, I'm sort of imagining that if I hit that hard enough, that it might just like whoop go like right up, and it it doesn't. No, it doesn't. So that means it's winch time. Now, will it get any grip now that it's on the thing? Um, it's still struggling, and it's still struggling bad. There. There. That's what it needed. Can it get up the rest of these at all? Is it going to just scramble? Yeah, it's just going to scramble around. That's the, that's the issue. Is it's going to scramble around. So, I'm going to put a winch straight in front of us and just climb straight ahead. That's not too, too bad. I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking it's a little bit, um, it's a little bit sketchy when it comes to anything that might involve rolling over backwards, but hello. That went well. All right, one more winch point because we're not out of these, like, massive, massive humps yet. Oh, God. Okay. Truck went sideways. It's, oh, the axle is bound up. That's the problem. We can pull through it, though. Not bad. We en ended up being able to pull through that. I'm impressed. God, this truck in low range is, like, unpredictable as hell. It's, like, not really unpredictable, but the shifting is, like, whop, whop, whop. Whoa! I didn't realize that was a jump. Holy crap. Um, <laughs> I forgot that was a jump. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, shit, I forgot that was a jump. Like, damn, I should have set that up a little bit better. But I tell you what, in the next Gigabit Off-Road video, we'll build another truck. We'll build the single cab. I think this is a single cab version of this truck, and we'll build it into much more of like a crawler. We might even build a, we might even build a race truck and take it to a different map. So if you guys did enjoy this video, bleh, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.